Dan here at Sugar Tree Run. Today we're going to cover the basics of doing an end of season preservative flush of your homemade RO system. Let's talk about some of the things you're going to need. Number one, as a prerequisite to doing this, you need to have completed a regular flush of your system after your last use for the season. Number two, you're going to need a brand new 5 micron filter. You're going to need 11 gallons of either permeate or distilled water. Number three, you're going to need membrane preservative. And number four, you're going to need safety equipment, goggles and gloves, to make sure we don't get any of the preservative on our skin or in our eyes. For the process, what we're going to do is mix 10 milliliters of preservative into one gallon of 80 degree water. This water has been sitting at about 75 degree room temperature and is good enough for use. We're going to then circulate that through the system for 10 minutes, putting the exit hoses back into this jug and just recirculating the entire time. Then at the end of that, we're going to empty our water housing, keep the same filter, and run 10 gallons of fresh water through as a flush. And at that point, you're going to be able to store this for the season. Should be noted, we're going to keep the needle valve wide open, so we're getting flow across the membrane and through it. Okay, we've put our new filter in. We've mixed the permeate and preservative, and we've got all three hoses put back into this jug. Our needle valve is wide open. We're ready to circulate for 10 minutes. At the end of that, we'll do the 10 gallon flush and then store this for the year. Okay, we've got this running, it's circulating. Uh, it's fully saturated the system, no more air. And again, we're gonna let this run for 10 minutes. Okay, we've run for 10 minutes and we're gonna pull our inlet hose out now and we will let the system just kind of run dry with that there. And then after that, we're gonna open this up, dump out whatever fluid is left in here, and then we're gonna do our 10 gallon final flush. Okay, we've allowed the system to run dry, and you can see we've removed this, and you can see that the preservative is in here. So we're just gonna dump this out Put this back on and we're staged with five gallon buckets for uh, fresh water in and exit over here we're just going to kind of meter it using these buckets and again you want to do a, a 10 gallon rinse okay we've got everything staged here for the rinse we've got about four and a half gallons in the bucket so we'll do we'll do two of these and a little bit more uh, we're going to go ahead and start up the machine And again, you want both discharge lines going into another pail. Keep this separate. This is a, a rinse, not a recirculate. So we're going to be taken from the bucket on the left, dumping it over here, and we'll do 10 gallons total. We'll just continue to add to this bucket as we go. Uh, I've got it measured out in one-gallon jugs to keep it simple. Okay, we're all done with our 10-gallon rinse. Uh, we've run this dry. You can see there's there's air actually coming through. Uh, so we're all finished now, and this unit can be stored intact with the membrane in it for the off-season. Thanks for stopping by Sugar Tree Run. Thanks for watching our videos. Please be sure to like it below and subscribe to our channel.